Hi everyone and welcome to my update video on Vampire Drain and the 12 volt battery. It's been a few weeks since my 2.0 update and I want to tell you what I've experienced during this time. First of all, I've heard that some people are not experiencing all the features of the update and this seems to be affecting those who are getting it by the over the air version. I feel that the manual update with the mobile tech who checks all the modules and systems is the way to go for these initial updates. Once things start to settle down with the big changes, I hope OTA will become a smoother process. That said, I'm enjoying the brake hold or hill hold, which keeps the car from moving while on an incline. I also like the new solar energy generation tracking. My key fob has been performing very well. I would say about 90% of the time the car opens up with one press of the unlock button. There are times after a deep sleep of overnight where it may need a second press. Overall, I've been happy with this update. Today I will be focusing on a vampire energy loss of the high voltage battery pack. Prior to this update, people were seeing anywhere from 1% to over 5% drain every 24 hours. I have been tracking mine for the previous 1.10 and 1.11 updates and saw anywhere around 1.5 to 2% losses every day. Since this update, I've been around 1 to 1.5%, so definitely less. Some people have reported way less than 1% and others have seen no improvement. It's interesting to know what is the cause for the differences that people are having. One of the root causes for battery drain is the need to power services such as the battery management system. When the car is locked and sleeping, there are, however, too many sources of drain. These subsystems are being addressed in these updates. One test I've done previously was to set up my camera to record overnight. I noticed anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes, the car would wake up to check the 12 volt battery status. If it was good, it would go back to sleep. If not, it would spend 10 to 20 minutes charging the 12 volt battery. During the time, lights on the dashboard, overhead, and ambient would turn on for 30 minutes or more. It's kind of a feedback loop since the 12 volt battery is used to power these lights, and checking on the 12 volt battery causes more drain on the battery and, in turn, the high voltage battery pack. Hopefully, this can be improved over time so that we can have, say, a 1% or less loss if the car's left for a whole week when it's off. So right now, this is the state of charge. I am at 66% with 234 miles remaining. We're gonna start the test at 8.30 p.m. And let's look at trips so we can see the odometer and that's where we're at. So I will set up my camera to monitor it overnight for the next 12 hours to see if any of the lights come on in the cabin. And uh, that will also let me know if the 12 volt battery is getting charged too. So let's get that started now. All right, I am going to start the test. I'm going to lock. And note that we have the blue light here. This will turn off when the car goes into deep sleep. And we'll check back in 12 hours. All right, it is after 8.30 a.m. now. If we look at the charge port, the light is off, which the car has been in deep sleep. Let's unlock it. Go inside. Here we go. Here is the driver's screen. We have 65% state of charge, 232 miles. Here's the odometer. And I will look at the camera that has been recording and we'll see what happened during the night. Here's a video of the interior that I took from 8.30 p.m. last night to 8.30 a.m. this morning. I counted and graphed the times that the lighting turns on and off, so you can see that right here. 
This is the 12 volt battery monitor that I installed last year. It records up to two weeks of data and is handy for looking at the 12 volt battery usage. For example, here's the last eight hours of battery voltage from midnight to 8.30 a.m. I'll be using the last 12 hour chart and show you the video from last night. The test started at 8.32 p.m. The first wake up occurred at 9.45 p.m. and lasted for 46 minutes, charging the 12 volt battery. The second wake up happened at 11.36 p.m. and lasted for 6 minutes. The voltage was good, so it didn't charge. The third wake up was at 12.48 a.m. and also lasted for 6 minutes. The same thing, it didn't need to charge. The fourth wake up occurred at 2 a.m. and lasted for 46 minutes. The 12 volt battery was charged up to roughly 12.7 volts. Then there was a long stretch of time until 7.07 a.m. where the voltage was fairly steady, dropping just a little bit over time. In previous updates, I never saw this long a period of time between charging. It was usually every hour or so between charges. Then at 7.07 .07 a.m. there was a quick 12 minute charge. And the test ended at 8.35 a.m. Much less lights during the night than I'd have seen previously. And here are the results. We have 2 miles for every 12 hours, which is 4 miles for every 24 hours. And that equals 1.1% per day. Definitely an improvement over my previous numbers. The 12 volt battery has improved charging since this update. I used to go below 12.0 volts fairly often where it has to get charged up by the high voltage battery pack. Now it will stay in the 2.3 to 2.6 voltage range. I can make it go down below 12 if I leave everything on and the doors open. And it will charge up when I press the brake pedal or attach the J1772 charger plug. Here's a view of the last 12 hours or so and you can see the highs and lows. The peaks are where the high voltage pack is charging it and then after that stops it's in that range that I mentioned previously. So I'm glad that the 12 volt battery is better taken care of and hopefully this will reduce the chance of dead 12 volt batteries due to heavy drainage. And that's about it for this update. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I usually don't ask this, but if you can, like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. YouTube algorithms have been tough for a lot of the content creators that provide useful information rather than controversial or negative topics, so I hope you understand. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.